So it's that time again, we always end up on country roads, exploring abandoned homes. Let's make a song of it, really. Country roads, exploring abandoned homes. Oh, look. We actually got the real life Pingu in a honeybee suit. The honeybee suit, welcome to the village. I'm not gonna show you no signs, but we've literally just hit our destination. Just gonna explore this one. Can't wait, it's a proper time capsule. So guys and girls, as I said, follow us on all social medias. Links are all in description if you love abandoned exploring. And I'm gonna be doing a new TikTok page, so. But make sure you go and check out the rest of the socials and TikTok page as well. Another septic tank going past. Good old farm villages. <laughs> anyway, let's get on with the video. So come and join with me guys as we head into the north of England to find a little cottage that dates back to the 1800s that was the Pixie family for three generations here. So the last remaining was the mother and the father had three children. The children last grew up in this place and Henry Pixie was the oldest son that never moved away from this cottage with his two sisters that lived next door in the bungalow. When they lost their sister, the other sister got married and spent her last life in the bungalow where she found her brother passed away in the old cottage later on and she could never step foot into this place. When sadly the last sister passed away, left these two properties now vacant. So we're heading through the little village um, of this place and I've noticed I'm not quite sure what all the little scarecrows are in the, in the houses and stuff so we don't want to film too many people's properties but it's like a little scarecrow village. Scarefest. Scarefest. I like a little tea on the uh, the cup as so I'm well. not going to show you the plaque of this place, but look, as if this would have been the old butchers in the street. And here you go, there's a little scarecrow of the butcher. So I don't want to show too much of the street, and I'd love to show you all, but I try and protect place as much as we can. But the old house there was the old beer place. They've got the old butchers we just showed you there. And so many of the old buildings here. There was an old pig farm. Apparently, the building here on my right, I'll show you very quickly. <laughs> was an old petrol station. That's what I was just told down there. Hence probably why it stands out the most up here. Or looks the most newest, should I say. All right, let's get on with this explore. Let's get round there to the little Pixie house, is it? Pix yeah, we'll call What's it the name? That. The Pixies. So the house we were about to explore was owned, I'm not gonna actually say their surname, but we're gonna call them the Pixies because it's very similar to their name. So that's all we're gonna say. Um, so this place, there was three generations that grew up there and in the two sisters bought the bungalow next door to this house and then the couple that lived in the old cottage, a little bit of a story on him, he was illiterate, couldn't read or write, but he used to help the farmers around here with all the farm and he also kept birds. I'm talking about ones that fly as well. So. <laughs> birds of prey. <laughs> birds of prey. So let's get in there, let's check it out, this little time capsule, I'm out of here. Urbex lost and found, there you go, I said it. I'll, I'll send you the pictures to this one day inside the bungalow. Yeah, I'm not going to show you the front of it, but yeah, we'll show you the little story of the sister's house next door as well. But let's get on with it and explore. So guys, we are at the property. You can't even see this place. It is in there. Years of abandon. So let's get in and explore. Guys, look at this place that I'm about to explore. I've got to try and climb in that, even though the whole front is falling down. The chimney looks like it's about to topple over. You can see through that window all the way up. Damn, I would try this door, but I don't even know if I want to disturb this front wall. Nah, we're not going in that way. But when I was standing around near the fence in there, I could look over and I could see it looks like a true time capsule. So let's get inside. I must be crazy. Guys, look at this place. Apparently it's been abandoned since the 1990s. This building is dangerous, look at the staircase. So 
so you just see it with your own eyes, the front of this place. I'm going to spin the camera around now and show you. But this is such a creepy village as you see in the beginning of the video. There's scarecrows and stuff in this village. Anyways, turn it around and show you now. So guys and girls, laugh at me or whatever for over-exaggerating or whatever you think. But this whole ceiling is literally rested on this door frame. Look here. So this is what over 30 years of decay looks like. The little clock stopped at 10 to 12. The kitchen. Maybe this is an old gun cabinet as well. Oh, look at this. It's an old radio or something. It's a pack of batteries, C batteries there. Just looking for like a best before bit. But this is a pure complete time capsule that sat still. See, I don't know how true this is, but apparently the lady was found dead after some time as well in this place. Look at the sink. the thing I've been to a lot of abandoned buildings but when you step in somewhere that's over 20 30 years it's absolutely crazy I'm still shocked I'm standing underneath the ceiling that could come down any moment let's just give you another little spin round little toaster loving these old style cookers and stuff that real cottage feel. And I've got a dust mask on, so hopefully you can hear me right, guys and girls. Oh, look at the old Hoover. So this happens a lot in the UK, so if we say, oh, we're going to go and Hoover the room. Obviously, it is vacuum the room, but Hoover the room. And obviously, it is a brand, but look at this. Even the old bag's still there. The little milk jug. Yo guys, I had to pause the video right there. Tell me now, you heard the footsteps. I'm literally sitting there editing in the garden and I had to come inside and re-listen to the video. And clear as day, I'm gonna play the clip again and then again and then we'll continue with the video. But tell me you heard it. It sounded like something knocking or some kind of footsteps. Let's get on, back on, editing the video and tell me what you think. Please leave a comment below and let me know what you think. Love you loads, continue the video. Milk jug. What do you think? And listen once more. Milk jug. It's like a taxidermist. Oh, look at the book. The Modern World Book of Nature. The nature of... Do you think stepping into a living room right now and a pheasant? So try and imagine what song was playing out of this radio. There's no TV in this house by the looks of things. Loving this, look at this clock here. It's so hot today as well. It's actually reading off the gauge. <laughs> Encyclopedia of cooking. Oh, we've got some Imperial Lover there. What is this? Didn't even know that would have been useful. Does anyone know guys and girls? what that was for. Let's 
so obviously exploring old houses on your own as well it's a bit creepy oh, okay yeah so believe it or not the son sorry the husband and wife one of these two which looks like them would have lived in this cottage and then right next door is the other two their son and daughter son and daughter-in-law and i'll show you the cottage in a minute as well we won't go and explore it but it's it's the last place that was abandoned and apparently after his mother died in here he never stood foot in this place and now it's just completely falling down you see parts of the ceiling all over the sofa let's just quickly come back here as well the boxing king there's a book on planes here I'm going to show you this clip remember this guys and girls and then I'm going to show you a clip in a minute of the bungalow next door and we will try and picture this picture and as I drop it down I'm going to show you the bungalow see ladies and gents it's a little bit different now if you imagine them four people now and who knows if the, the daughter-in-law and the son is still alive that's so crazy The hell is that? All these bits of the ceiling falling down or something in here. So you imagine being that son that comes round here and finds his mother passed away. Obviously probably right near Christmas as well. I can't say the exact date. They're definitely like hunting families. It's a sheepdog there. I love their dogs, they're shooting. There's a little bag still here as well. I really like lifting up stuff, but it's like a, an old toffee hammer in there and some old pennies and stuff. Oh, you can feel the flooring slanted as I'm walking around. Look at the way the doors are all cut. It shows you how bad, like, there's a gap there. <laughs> it's about. 30 mil difference. But exploring is about a thing that I love. I love to take you guys in with me. We're trying to picture the family. So you imagine the mother, the father, Christmas, and the son and daughter in law, Moo, comes in round here for Christmas Day dinner 20, nearly 30 years ago. So obviously this would have been the original entrance to this place. Look at the old art decor, like the 70s wallpaper. <sighs> Don't even know how I feel about walking up the stairs, guys. I feel like it's got to be done. So now we're going to head into, obviously, oh, there is a TV. I told a lie. So now into the dining room. Again, look at these type 70s style Maybe 60s, I'm not sure. The Art Deco again, kind of fireplace. And in here, is that an old clock? The hell? Guys, that literally just fell over. Call me a liar, whatever you want. <laughs> that literally just fell over. I'm sure of it. Let's try that again. No touching, hand here, holding the camera. Look at the clock. That definitely did fall over, I'm sure of it. I can't check the footage yet until I leave. Wow, look at this mache. It's an old sword or something. Look at that. It's crazy. Another batch of... It's like, I think they're for target practicing the old plastic pigeons. So, ooh, ooh. <laughs> I don't mind wildlife, but that was a big old rat. <laughs> it just run past my foot. And yeah, guys, take the piss, take the mick. I'm in Crocs. Don't have my toe bit off. Oh, look at this. Ember Cream. Hey, John Hay. The old infrared TV there. What make is that? A Sanyo. This is so 
so cool. You found this as a lot of entertainment where obviously people probably in a day had more time in their hands. Now we've got internet, we've got phones. If you'd sit there, you'd learn how to play a piano. Completely rotten, made in Nottingham. There's speakers up in the room, each corner up there. The old shutters on the door. You think there's no central heating in these places. I'm going to show you as well. Look at the old wiring. It's so rotten. Wow, guys, look at this room. I suppose you could get to the light bulb easy enough, but the ceiling's collapsed. Oh, so that's a downstairs toilet. I'm not going to go in there. There's a unit there completely collapsed. And this, I think. Yeah, goes back into the kitchen. So let's head round to the staircase. So just in this room, we see all the, the old parquet floor and underneath. I'm shocked that, I was gonna say, I'd be shocked if any keys were, even all the uh, ivories come off the top or laminate, whatever this one is. The holes. This place has definitely seen better days. I'm not gonna lie, it just it feels really weird in this place. Not a nice feeling. I mean, I was trying to picture the whole family sitting in there, but I'm getting this like really weird, like a complete sadness and feeling in here. I could probably kind of feel why the sun doesn't want to come in here. Damn, guys, look at this. There's old stairs that go down to one of the, it went into another room. So I'm not even gonna chance walking on that floor, guys, to even check that wardrobe out. Look at the dresser. Everything's still left. Looking back on the staircase here, look at the stained glass window. Oh, it's flooring, guys. Wow. It really is a little time capsule. I kept seeing little darts downstairs. Oh, it's making me swallow hard walking on this floor. It's another like um, area of storage or something. So, served with honour, was disabled in the Great War. Oh, it's the same name as well, so this must be his grandfather. This bit's a ceiling literally falling as I'm standing here. But yeah, so I shouldn't even, I should be worried more about that. But yeah, this is the grandfather. Because that's what I heard that the, the man, the husband and wife that lived here, it was his grandfather's house when it was built. <laughs> it is literally a ceiling's falling as I'm standing here now. I'm not even joking. <sighs> wow, look at this, the portable heart radio. Don't want to fall down the stairs, but it's the only bed in the house. And his walking stick. So I'm not trying to add all the heartstrings, but apparently when he died, she never came in his room. And she stayed downstairs. You can see the walls look cracking. Oh, I love this. Look at this, the old box. The Hoover products. The Hoover tools, sorry. For the Hoover probably in the kitchen. What is this? Oh, it's all moving. Just remember this front of the house here is held on by a door frame. I shouldn't even be walking in here. I can feel it all moving. Look at it. Oh, 
wow, look at this. Guys, this room is literally creaking. I'm not even kidding you. I can hear it as I'm moving. Everything's still left. Look at the leather belt. Is that a gun host? Oh no. So cool. Guys, heading back downstairs. At least we haven't gone through any ceilings. I think that's the little cottage done. We're going to take a little look around at the outer buildings. But yeah, what a time capsule. And if there is any spirits here, I'm not going to go the whole ghostly spirit way, but a few things have moved and banged and creaked in here while I've been in here. So if there is anyone, thank you for letting me look around your house. Right, let's head outside. Let's try and get outside, that is, yeah. Let's head back outside unless we missed anything, but I think that's it, guys, in here. What a crazy to explore. Right, let's try and get out of here without knocking this door. There's a dart sticking in the door there. But look, I wasn't joking, guys. Let's put this light on a sec. Right, let's try and get out of here. And guys, look, I'm not joking, sit with me. The whole joist is resting on top of that door. You can't even move that door. The door. Let's try and get out of here now. Here we go. Now you can see just how bad this place really is. Yo, so back out of the house. Bro, that is dangerous. It's back outside. You can see now the areas I was standing in. What? This is bad. <laughs> bad. So I was exploring in the house from young, but obviously Ian was keeping an eye on for me. Making sure I'm safe. <laughs> Even the outside toilet. All the Australians are dunny, or the loo, the lavatory, whatever you want to call it, is seen better days. Actually, there ain't a toilet in the house, is there? But yeah. Right, let's have a look around the outer buildings. So you can see all the outer buildings out here. Just found Ian out here, so it's where he lives. Yeah, no, that one. Oh, you're in that one? Oh, sorry, man. Still got a roof. You got anyone next door? Because I'll move in. Um, that one's got a roof that side. <laughs> oh, dude, I love his old sinks. Hell fat sink. That's the one. I'm not going to pretend I knew that, but I've heard of that saying before. Even this little ch shed. I wonder if there's an old car here. Probably not. Oh, the building's all the way down, though. Let's have a little walk around. Yeah, it's quite sad really. you think like there's three generations grew up in this one little house. And then they moved into another house after this one got deemed unsafe. I know all the history on this place. Yeah, because that's what he was trying to do, wasn't it? Get moving next door, get his mother in there by the looks of it, because it looks like the young couple were there at first. Or her son, I don't know, but it's, it's trying to puzzle the story, guys, you know. Yeah, that is another one of them sinks just out in the back garden there. I don't think we're going to get any cars. I'll let here, Ian chose the right one. He's got a nice little roof on his. Well, the animals look like they were kept all right. I tell you what, this, this property has got some land on it. I'll give it that. The old fiberglass bathtub. I think that's what a lot of them are made out of now. There's so many little outer buildings. And you can see how big this back garden is as well. Another little shed there.
so peaceful though, you can't even hear a pin drop out here. You might get the odd car that'll pass. Car, but that was beautiful when it before it was left out here, that old chest. I'll tell you one thing guys. I've been stunned to bits already. Who wears crocs and shorts? What an idiot. nothing in these so I'm being quiet because there is a house just over there I'm not gonna lie to you guys when I had a set of crocs bought for me I said I'd never wear them but I, I live in them oh, look at the front of it there it's so cool this was a tinkering shed look at it yeah, this was his little thing. I think that's where he locked his wife, mate, when she uh, upset him. Or she locked him. <laughs> Actually, she would have locked him. The old bike there. You must remember the dynamo. He pushed down. All right, it's not working no more. He's up now. Had that three speed gears. <laughs> that was all the rage then. If you had a three speeder, you were rich. Look at old Bob You know, you used to love the old gear adjustment. Pull it out and in to adjust the gears. What is that, a Raleigh? Not a rally, it is a rally, yeah. Rally. Rally, rally, rally. Oh, look at that. We can imagine him and her, can't you? Like, come on, pull, pull, pull your weight. Or she's going, come on, you lazy sh. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Ian, Ian got in there. Oh, Ian, I've shown this place as well, because this has been yeah, stood still for what, three years? How long has that been empty? 2019. I know, I got told the full story around this place because I know yeah. the shopkeeper. Right, okay. And he explained it all to me. I found a window open on that house and I locked the window and came out the front door so nobody gets in here. Oh, lovely. So that's what I mean, that's, that's respect there. And that, because it's... And it is still, guys, point. otherwise you know me, I'd go in there and show you it now because there's a lot of memories as well, still as a family. And you I think that's four years now? in my phone... Quick? So four years ago, guys, remember, I will put in a link, so definitely check out the description and I'll show you inside the rest of the family's home. So this generation grew up from here and moved here and now both properties are vacant. So guys, hopefully you enjoyed that video. Um, so a little bit of the history was wrong. What we found out in the village, it was three, it was definitely three generations in the house. The house dates back to the late 1700s that the tracks go past. So the late 1700s, this place dates back to. And what we found out is, the, uh, sorry, the late 1800s, this place start, uh, goes back to, with the old chapel up in the village and everything else. Uh, so three generations there. The son, there was two daughters. Sorry, the couple, <laughs> the couple had one son who grew up in the place he met his wife and they had three children, the two daughters and a son. The son stayed in the house and the two daughters moved next door. And the way I'm looking at the wedding photos, one of the sisters passed and then the other sister got married and stayed in the bungalow. That's what it kind of, it makes out that it is. But the house has been vacant now for nearly, just over 20 years, is it? He 20 said? years about. That 20 years, so yeah. What a place, what an explore. Hopefully you enjoyed it guys, love you loads. And check us out on all social medias, including Ian's in link. And if you want to grab yourself a t-shirt, there is a website as well. And tell him, if you want an Urbex Lost and Found t-shirt, give him a message. <laughs> Love you loads, guys. Stay safe.